Here's a quick video showing the demo slam that I did at the Kentucky Google in Education Summit. So we're used to using Google Forms uh, to collect data from our students and teachers. And that information goes into a Google Sheet, which is very convenient. But what I wanted to show is how you can flip the switch on that and how you can take the contents of a Google Sheet and actually create the Google Form from it. So I've created a spreadsheet with some sample data, uh, some questions. Uh, I'm going to show you what this second column is about in just a second. And then we've got some options here that would be multiple choice questions. Um, there's an add-on, well, it's really a script uh, developed by the very talented John McGowan. Uh, and he posted about it on his blog. And I'm going to give you the link to that in just a minute. But um, he took some of the stuff that he's put together in creating GMath, which is an add-on also uh, for Google Sheets. Uh, pulled out some of that code and he uses it uh, to create this uh, spreadsheet. And what it allows you to do after you uh, make a copy of it is to come in and create a quiz. You select the information that you uh, want your form to be created from. Click the preview button. You give your form a name. Click create form. And so right now the script is going through the spreadsheet, grabbing and before I can even finish talking, it has made the Google form with those questions. And so I can come here right now, I can click edit form. And here is that form from that uh, spreadsheet, all the questions, the correct answers. You can come in here and you can tweak it. So you could come in and make it s the different questions required. You could um, use any of the advanced settings, uh, make any modifications you wanted to, come in here and put some uh, instructions. Um, you can see here's the form. It was all created in just those few minutes. So if you've got a spreadsheet that is a CSV export from a test bank that you have access to use, you can actually bring that information into Google Sheets. And so once you gather the information in the form, you can apply things like Flubaroo, uh, Autocrat, Formule. You can do a variety of different things with it. I wanted to show you one more thing while I've got this up, uh, an add-on that uh, I was shown today uh, at the summit, uh, which is one of my takeaways, is the QR code generator. Um, so if I install that uh, add-on and then come in here to the spreadsheet that I have my test bank on, I can come in here and I can select uh, a, a bunch of text here. And I can use the pop-out over here to uh, create QR codes that I could hang around the building, hang around my classroom, that would, when the students scan this with their QR code reader, they'd be able to see that text. Now there, used, there, there's a, there are various ways that you can uh, make these QR codes, but this one is, is absolutely the, the most simple to use that I have found. Um, you can come in here and adjust any of these settings. You can go for a really large one, really small one. I'm just going to leave this here. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave the value and click generate. And so it's reading the spreadsheet, it's calculating the information that's in those cells, and it's making a QR code for each one of those cells that I've selected. And because I uh, requested that it make it a document, 
and now this is in my Google Drive. Uh, so it's got the borders because I placed that check mark. It's got the QR code. It has the translation of the QR code, which you could cut off or you could leave off completely. Uh, it certainly helps to have it there um, until you figure out what you're going to do with your QR code because you'd have to scan it every time to see what the uh, question is. Um, but So then you can take that and you can actually see um, the contents of that. And because I'm on my phone, on my computer, I'm going to use this. I grabbed a QR code. I'm going to drop it in. And you can see right here, it's showing the text translated that QR code for me using the computer so I didn't need the scanner. Um, so that's a little bit longer of an explanation than I gave today. I didn't win the slam, but it, this is such a, a handy tool. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I showed it to everybody, even if you couldn't come to the Kentucky Summit. Make sure that you check out um, Mr. McGowan's site here. Uh, short URL uh, at bit.ly slash makeaform. And that will take you to his blog post on a script that he created, uh, constructed to, to create Google Forms from a question and a spreadsheet. And uh, slam.